I think what I might do too, you may remember I had those two big three by sixes laid across the back back there on point. Well, they, I've used them all along here to stand on to do this work up here. I think I'll toss them back down and put them back there because I can still stand up on those while I build that stairs. Plus when I back the camper in, because it's got that little rack on the back, they don't really get in the way. So I could go ahead and have them in place and I could probably use them back there to fashion up what I'm thinking about building in some sort of way. But I can clean this out, bring the camper in. Go ahead and do that. Might be easier to bring these little wood pieces of scrap wood in this way because I'm basically this there's a hole over here that drops off. I'm thinking oh that'd be a great place to just throw old wood chips and stuff. Old pieces of wood that will never get used for anything else could go in there. Just fill up the hole that would be just fine. Just fine. I find that you run across a lot of these little cordless saws in yard sales and stuff. Uh, both of these were yard sale items. And most of the time they don't do, do much. But they'll do enough to work in a tight spot. And that was kind of a tight spot working behind that fence and all. Uh, a saw with a cord would just be bigger, harder to fit in there, heavier. So that was ugly. But it did the job. So. That's about all I'll ever use that kind of saw for is just a little cut that needs to be made in a tight spot. A place where I can't get a cord or I can't get a bigger saw. Alright, so let's clean up these wood chips. I'll fasten down the roof. Then we'll move around on the inside and start contemplating what we're going to do, what else we're going to do.